Hey Scorpio, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for your current energy. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, so we have temperance at the bottom of the deck. So uh, could be dealing with a Sagittarius, maybe a Virgo. Um, it's it's really, really interesting, uh, Scorpio, because, and I, I feel like I say that all the time, but honestly, your readings are always interesting. There's always something to get from them that I um, obviously never expect. I feel like you may also never expect um, certain things in your life, and when they show up, you're just like, okay, that's cool, I guess, right? Like, you are always being forced to adapt to these things that just suddenly pop up, and I feel like right now what's happening is that there is something that is coming through almost like as a disadvantage, but you quickly are recognizing that it's actually a good thing. So it's almost like you are like finessing the system. Um, in a way, I feel like a lot of you are turning uh, lemons into lemonade and someone expected you to receive rotten lemons. So it's kind of like you're surprising yourself, but also surprising whoever, you know, was the messenger for that. Um, now, this is a very big and weird um, description for the energy that I'm getting, but hopefully it makes sense when we, once we get to the end. We have the Ace of Wands, the Hermit, and the Five of Cups. So again, a lot of you are turning water into wine. Basically, there's something that's coming through that seems disappointing at first, and I think that's what the Five of Cups is trying to represent. It's kind of like you first see something, right? And the first few hours, first few days, first few minutes, you're like, what is this? This doesn't look good. I don't like this. Five of Cups is kind of like an energy of feeling uncomfortable, feeling kind of like disgusted, right? So temperance is meant to represent that over time, it changes. So that's kind of like, um, this is like the graph, right? So at the beginning of the graph, it's kind of like very low. Eventually, once you get to the end of it, you see that there's like this surge in energy. It's like you form this very, um, you know, specific line to the top. You know, it feels like you're on a roller coaster. And I think that that's the best way that I could describe it. Like at first, you don't like what you're feeling because you know that when you get to a certain point, your stomach is gonna feel queasy. But then it's like on the way down, from the peak right like that feeling of being exhilarated feeling alive that's what the universe is trying to let you know like at first this is not gonna feel or look great but once you get to the top just know that this is the truth i feel like a lot of you are are recognizing something and your intuition is telling you that it's not a bad thing but you're still having to like look for certain answers before you can really determine that what you're feeling is true so uh, let's see if we can get some insight because I am throwing all kinds of uh, illusions out here that I'm not sure if they make sense. Let's clarify the Ace of Wands. All right, and usually I don't read reversals, but it's coming through, so I'm going to take it. We have the Hierophant in reverse so it's almost like someone is coming through scorpio and they're like you know what i don't really want a commitment this is not for me and then a part of you deep down inside you know that that's not how they really feel and it's like your intuition is trying to open up your third eye if you notice this hand that's holding this wand he has that third eye on on you know right there so it's kind of like he has that feeling in the palm of his hand he can almost um you know kind of sense there's something not quite right about what i'm receiving here so it's almost like you're face to face with this person and they're telling you this and you're like that i don't buy it right you don't buy what you're getting so a lot of you are like i need to get to the bottom of this because i think that there's something else going on so we have the eight of swords four of swords and the page of wands i feel like right now a lot of you could be in kind of like investigative mode right scorpios are one of the best investigators of the zodiac in my opinion because we like to find answers we like to find the truth and so we're constantly seeking things and looking for things and you know looking at details and trying to figure out what's really going on behind the surface and the Four of Swords, it's like a lot of you are taking that time to really think about this, meditate on it, because you want to go to the truth. You don't buy what's happening um, in the surface. So I feel like the Eight of Swords is that feeling of, man, I don't know why they can't just say the truth, or I don't know why this is being, you know, um, obscured, right? Like, why is this not just out there? I feel like the Eight of Swords is that feeling that Scorpios hate, um, which is that feeling of not knowing something 
um, for no good reason, right? It's like there's no valid reason for this information to be kept from you. So you're trying to break that shield. You're trying to break that glass mirror. Um, you're trying to see through it, right? The reflection just isn't good enough right now because I feel like somebody is projecting to you, Scorpio, and you're just like, no, this is not it, right? Like, I know better than that. So the hermit, if anything, is that, you know, that hermit-like energy within you that's coming out right now, and you're just like, I have to dig deeper. I have to look within. I have to reveal the truth here, right? The true light, which is why you're holding that lamp there. Some of you could have Virgo placements, right? So you have that innate desire to really look at things very specifically until you get to the nitty-gritty, nitty-gritty, uh, maybe someone is being greedy. You know, maybe that's that's why that word came out like that. Uh, Page of Wands, you're not going to stop until you are, you know, down to the truth. Let's go ahead and see if we can get some more information. Let's clarify the Eight of Swords. All right, Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So... I feel like knight of cups is universe's way of saying you are so close scorpio don't give up now um don't stop paying attention to your gut feeling and your intuition again you're so close and yet it feels like whoever you're dealing with is trying very hard to hide some true feelings for you i think that you know this person is afraid of what they feel they may be afraid of uh being vulnerable Right. And maybe this is you. Right. So take it how it resonates. Some of, someone here in this situation is very afraid or very vulnerable to admit that they have feelings for someone. OK. And so when this energy first comes through, we get this five of cups. Someone is saying they don't want this. They're not interested. And you. Right. You're kind of like, but that doesn't make sense. And there's a reason for that. So we have the nine of cups two of cups and the knight of swords so quickly we see the turnaround right this is kind of like getting to that peak of the roller coaster um two of cups there's emotions here maybe someone is feeling sick to their stomach right just thinking about admitting how they really feel but i do think that eventually they're gonna have to do it right no one can contain that type of emotion for that long without feeling um, overwhelmed by that, right? It's almost like the Nine of Cups is representing that someone here just maybe needs to really believe in themselves. They need confidence, self-esteem, right? Maybe it's that that's missing and holding them back from saying, you know what, I do want this, right? Someone doesn't love themselves or believe in themselves enough to think that they are worth something. And I think that that's really what's holding this back. Uh, but I think that, again, you're on you're on it, right? You understand that there is something happening here. And I think that you're getting ready to see the truth. I think someone's true colors are going to be revealed because, you know, the water is going to leak them, right? Eventually, you're going to start to see the water go from being crystal clear, right? Because apparently, that's what they gave you to it's going to it's going to look colorful. It's going to look muddy, right? You're going to see something through that. You're going to see through the BS. And I think that this is a perfect example of, you know, Scorpio's perseverance in seeking the truth because because once we do that, right, the fact that we don't give up and trying to figure something out, we end up with the reward, right? We end up with the truth and then we get to say, well, you know, I'm glad that I didn't give up on this because now I know the truth and it's great. It's better than this Five of Cups, right? This Five of Cups does nothing for me, but this Two of Cups, I can work with that. So someone really needs to dig deep um, and to not be afraid of that vulnerability, not be afraid of their truth and recognize that you are open, right? This Knight of Swords needs to know that this Knight of Cups is not going to judge them. It's not going to do anything. It's not going to run away, uh, but they might want to run away, right? It's like very interesting energies, but really hope that this um, is helpful. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.